This is my body, and for the first time in my life, I love it, and that's all thanks to the carnivore diet. So just like this coat that is unbuttoned, you can see that I've gotten, I have most of them on, but they're out of order. And that's kind of what my life was like before finding keto and ultimately the carnivore diet. My name is Ellie. and. Today is day 254 of eating the carnivore lifestyle. At my highest weight, uh, I was 240 pounds, and that was of December 2018. Now we are in the beginning January of 2024, and I was stressed out this morning. I had buttoned up my coat because it's, even though I live in Florida, it's winter, it's cold. I had noticed that I had this is exaggerated. I'm not taking the time to buttoning up my coat correctly. And that was making me think about how my life was like before. I would just try to check all the boxes that I could, bare minimum. And now I feel like I actually have the capacity to be able to fix my coat. So sometimes in life we find that it's difficult to redo something that we've started over because we feel like we need to always be perfect or maybe it's more effort to try something the proper way but I think in the moments of when I'm very stressed out I need to take a breath and start at the beginning so at the beginning of my carnivore diet journey I was 202 pounds I had brain fog, anxiety, panic attacks, and overall I was miserable. I can button all of my jacket with a calmed breath, and I know this is a silly analogy, but even I'm still a little broken, even though I've been eating this way and I'm feeling so much better, I still find myself relying on food sometimes or I want to go to food to make me feel better with the stresses of the world or I do the mer bare minimum to hide and run away and although fixing your diet can change I think like 80% at least for me 80% of my my problems physical mental I am still not buttoning my coat correct so I just wanted to kind of share that message with you that it's important to be able to say I need to take a moment and take a step back so I didn't want to talk to you today about buttoning my coat I actually wanted to be a little vulnerable with you today which is really funny because I just buttoned up my coat to say the analogy but I'm actually going to take it off and I want to talk about the things that my body has been through so I'm wearing a sports bra under this it's very cold today. Just like we take the time to button up the coat, we take the time to un unbutton. So this is what I look like so far with my arms, my stomach, and um, when I look at my body, I see somebody who's been through a lot. And I don't think anyone naturally gets up to 240 pounds without having some kind of trauma or bad self-esteem. It's really nice for me, a bit, for me to be able to look at my body at this moment. Is it perfect? No, I don't have six pack. I still have this little, <laughs> this is what I used to call my cookie pouch, but now that I don't have cookies anymore. I have loose skin on my body. I have lots of stretch marks and I, um, I'm still proud of what I've gone through because I've made it onto the other side and I'm finally able to say that I'm doing better. And so I wanted to point out, point out this little, I know 
There are people who have much larger stomachs than I did. I carry most of my weight in my legs and thighs, which we will be going to next. But I can, I'm, I'm really working on trying to be more positive with how we speak and to treat myself with respect. And so when I look at my body, I can say I'm proud of it. Not only has it carried me through the hardest times of my life, but it, I've also carried two children, two beautiful, healthy, smart children. And they're healthy and they've given me purpose. And I carried them both here. <sighs> and um, my life was changed forever when my husband and I decided to have children. And we tried for about a year. And with my health being in decline, I wasn't having any, any luck with it. And it was only until I started eating keto and losing 53 pounds in six months in 2018, 2019, that I was able to start to have children. My period became regular, and which is really funny because now I'm on carnivore, and but I no longer have pain. When my time of the month does come, there is no pain. Um, maybe a little discomfort because it's a menstrual. Oops, because it's a menstrual cycle. But I can look at myself and say, "That's great." So yeah, this is my body so far. And I'm gonna put on some shorts, and we're gonna talk about the legs, which have had the most damage. But I still love them. So these are my stretch marks and the beginning of a scar that we're going to be talking about today. I'll share a little bit with you, but I have stretch marks going all the way around. You probably can see them the best in this angle here. And also on this side. So, this is a scar that I have. So I also have more stretch marks here. And we'll get to this is the, where the most damage is in between my, my thighs. But this is an accident that happened to me. See this large circle here? And then there's these triangular shapes down here. I used to make a joke that they look like a bear claw. But this is a second degree burn that I experienced with spilling hot water on myself when I was about seven months pregnant with my son. That's my second pregnancy. And um, I was cooking in the kitchen with my daughter and I was straining out potatoes. I was wearing a long brown skirt and um, it stuck to my skin. And this was just 10 minutes before my husband got home. My daughter was helping me in the kitchen that, that night. And luckily when I was straining the potatoes, it did not, she was not in the kitchen at all because she would have also gotten burned. And I remember laying in the bathtub, screaming my head off. And the, because of the long skirt I was wearing, the, the skirt stuck to my skin. So I had to rip it off. And I was in the bathtub screaming, screaming, and it took about an entire month for me to heal. I had um, about eight blisters about the size of like this all over my legs. And my husband took such good care of me. Um, I was really scary and it goes all the way up to here. So this burn goes all the way down here. <sighs> I was so scared that I was gonna harm my baby. I was so scared, just in general. I don't think I've ever prayed that hard to God before. <laughs> so I carried that scar with me. And um, so the worst part, the most damage that's been done to my body, and I've seen quite considerable healing, is the back of my thighs. And this doesn't look pretty. I admit that. And this is probably a little too much for YouTube. I don't know. You guys have to let me know. but. I want to show you pictures. The only pictures I have of me when I was at my heaviest, I took weight loss before and after shots, and you can see how bad they were. But this is what they look like now. I used to call them my chicholes. 
and um, yeah, my my butt used to be like out to here. <laughs> Not kidding. My friends used to literally call it a shelf, and my thighs would rub so much when I was 240 pounds that I had um, I have a lot of loose skin here. It's actually tightened up quite a bit since I've been on carnivore, but yeah, you can see like this line here. That's all loose skin for the pretty much. Yeah, there's fat and loose skin there. Um, but I have, you know, this is in between my thighs. This was a hole at one point in my skin. And I thought it was never, ever going to close up, but it did. And I have tons of skin tags still, and a lot of, so you can see all the damage from the skin tags here. This is what the standard American diet did to me, and being addicted to those foods. And I bear this all to you today, not to gross you out, but to say that I'm proud of my body. I've been through so much. Yeah, these are more holes. I used to get boils, all of, I used to get boils in my thighs and my buttocks and other areas, like my bikini area here. So this is all of me. I'm really happy to where my body is now. I feel like I, I can truly live now that I'm on the carnivore diet. And I hope that what I've shown you today didn't make you dislike me or think less of me because I'm not perfect. But, um, feel very uncomfortable sharing all this with you but that's how much I love my subscribers I guess I just wanted to share with you some of my pain and how I'm rising from it this is my body scars boil scars loose skin cellulite stretch marks fat rolls this is my body and for the first time in my life, I love it. And that's all thanks to the carnivore diet. Thanks for watching. I can't wait to see you in the comments. Bye-bye.